Anemia due to chronic disease. The anemia of chronic disease is a multifactorial anemia. The causes of anemia of chronic disease include infections like tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS, inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, autoimmune disease like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, diabetes, malignancy, liver disease and chronic kidney disease. The pathogenesis of anemia of chronic disease. In anemia of chronic disease, there is release of inflammatory cytokines which impairs the erythroid proliferation and promote apoptosis of the RBCs contributing to anemia. The iron metabolism is altered due to an increase in hepcidine which is synthesized in the liver and inhibits iron absorption from duodenum. Also, hepcidine inhibits the release of iron from macrophages leading to low serum iron. The macrophage derived cytokines like interleukin 1 beta, interleukin 6, tumor necrosis factor alpha and interferon gamma in patients with infections, inflammatory states and cancer contribute to the decrease in erythropoietin production which would lead to impaired iron availability by increased hepatic hepcidine synthesis. Also in chronic kidney disease patients, there is decreased production of erythropoietin which could lead to anemia. The signs and symptoms of anemia of chronic disease depends on the underlying condition. Also the generalized signs and symptoms of anemia are present like pallor, dyspnea, fatigue and chest pain. The laboratory findings in anemia of chronic disease include decreased hemoglobin, normal or low mean corpuscular volume, normal or low mean corpuscular hemoglobin and normal or low mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration. The red cell distribution width is normal here. The general blood picture can show presence of normocytic normochromic RBCs or microcytic hypochromic RBCs. The serum iron level is low. Serum transferrin level is low. Here, serum ferritin is high because ferritin is an acute phase reactant and it increases in inflammatory conditions. The total iron binding capacity can be normal or low because serum iron and transferrin are low in this. The transferrin saturation is low and the serum transferrin receptor assay value is normal. Sometimes anemia of chronic disease can be associated with iron deficiency anemia. In this case, we can encounter low serum ferritin levels. The treatment of anemia of chronic disease depends on the underlying disease. In severe anemia, blood transfusions can be given. Erythropoietin can be given to chronic kidney disease patients. Iron supplements can be given to the patients who have associated iron deficiency anemia. Sometimes it is very difficult to differentiate between anemia of chronic disease from anemia due to iron deficiency because both of them can present with a similar blood picture. So, there are some points which can differentiate these two. Such as, in anemia of chronic disease, there is an underlying disease. However, in anemia due to iron deficiency, there is actually deficiency of iron which causes anemia. The blood picture in both the conditions show microcytic hypochromic blood picture. So, iron studies are required to differentiate between these two conditions. In anemia due to chronic disease, there is increased hepcidine synthesis or decreased erythropoietin and there is low level of iron in serum. In anemia due to iron deficiency, there is deficiency of iron and here also serum iron levels are low. However, there is no increase in hepcidine level or and no decrease in erythropoietin levels. In anemia due to chronic disease, there is increased storage iron or ferritin because ferritin is an acute phase reactant and it, it increases in inflammatory conditions. However, in anemia due to iron deficiency, the serum ferritin level is low. The transferrin saturation is low in anemia of chronic disease due to low levels of iron.
the molecules of transferrin that are occupied by the iron will be less in anemia due to iron deficiency as a compensatory mechanism of body against low serum iron the transferrin production is high which causes increased total iron binding capacity however in anemia due to chronic disease it is opposite in anemia due to chronic disease the total iron binding capacity is decreased as body is trying to produce less transferrin which will bind to circulating iron soluble transferrin receptors levels are normal in anemia due to chronic disease and increase in anemia due to iron deficiency